We want to bring in Dr. Anthony Fauci. He, of course, is the director of the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases and a chief medical advisor to the president. Dr. Fauci, good morning. Thanks for getting up with us here. We're going to try to break this down for folks who have real questions this morning and rightfully some real concerns about it. So the first simple question is, what makes this new variant so different and so concerning? Well, it has a large number of mutations, particularly in that area of the virus that relates to its ability to bind to the cells in your nasopharynx and in your lung, namely related to transmissibility. So you would predict from looking at the mutations that have been identified that it likely will be more transmissible. We don't know that yet, but you have to be careful and assume that that's the case. It also has a bunch of mutations that would suggest it could evade the protection, for example, of monoclonal antibodies and perhaps even convalescent plasma for people who've been infected and recovered and possibly vaccine. These are all maybes, but the suggestion is enough and it seems to have really spread rather rapidly in South Africa. Even though the numbers are relatively small, its ability to infect people who have recovered from infection and even people who've been vaccinated make us say this is something you got to pay really close attention to and be prepared for something that's serious. It may not turn out that way, right. but you really want to be ahead of it. And that's the reason why we're doing what we're doing. Dr. Fauci, I hear you saying there's still a lot you just don't know about this variant. What are the key questions you want answered and when do you think you will have those answers? Well, there are a couple of questions. One is when these individuals in South Africa, who yet, relatively speaking, are still a, not a large number, those who've gotten infected with this new variant, is the disease more serious than when you, for example, get infected with the Delta variant? That's point number one. Point number two are the antibodies that are induced by the vaccines that we are using do they protect against this? It is conceivable that it may be diminishing a little bit the protection, but the vaccines that we use may very well be able to contain this, and then it won't be as serious as some people are surmising it might be. A lot of unknowns, which is the reason why we're all over this. And as I say, you assume something that might be worse than it is, but better that than underestimating. Simple. So you don't want people to panic but you want to know that we're doing everything we can to stay ahead of this. So in real terms, Dr. Fauci, do you believe that Omicron is already here in the U.S. likely? You know, I would not be surprised if it is. We have not detected it yet, but when you have a virus that is showing this degree of transmissibility and you're already having travel-related cases that they've noted in Israel and Belgium and in other places, when you have a virus like this, it almost invariably is ultimately going to go essentially all over. Yeah. The issue of blocking tra of a travel from a given country is to just give us time to assess it better. That's the reason for doing that. Not any reason to panic, but we want to give us some time to really fill in the blanks of what we don't know right now. And, and Dr. Fauci, let's talk about what we know is happening in this country, which is that we are seeing increases in at least 15 states, nearly 100,000 new cases per day. So I guess the question this morning, are we at the mercy of this virus or at the mercy of people who are not getting vaccinated right now? Well, our fate is in our own hands. This is yet again another reason, not only what's going on right now with the Delta variant in our own country, but what you see throughout the world. It is absolutely essential that unvaccinated people get vaccinated and the vaccinated people get boosters. We know now clearly that when you get a booster shot, like a third shot after the two shots of an mRNA, or a second shot after the J&J, &J, you dramatically increase the level of protection. So if ever there was a reason now for people to say, putting all of these other things aside, let's get vaccinated, let's get boosted, and let's yeah. be careful when you're in indoor congregate settings to make sure you wear a mask and do not pull back on your guard. Dr. Fauci, we appreciate your time and expertise. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Just remarkable to hear him say that it is Good possible Omicron is already here yeah, no doubt. in this country.
Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.